Now we go to SGA, a prop bet from him. SGA has failed to exceed 47 and a half points plus rebounds plus assist prop in 10 straight games against the Los Angeles Lakers. 30, he averages 34.2 points, points, rebounds, assists, games per average. So they, they're saying to they take the under 47 and a half points, rebounds, assists prop. So the 40, like yesterday, Joel Embiid, they said take the under 47 and a half because he had failed to do so in X amount of games against the Toronto Raptors, which is weird because they don't re, they, they allow bit, uh, rebounders from centers, right? Same thing with SGA. It doesn't matter if he's killing. doesn't matter if it's the Lakers. If you hate him, if you hate LeBron, if you hate uh, LeBron's, uh, you know, the owner, Genie Buzzer, and you know, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. SGA does not has not exceeded 47 and a half points plus rebounds plus assists. That means all total of points, total of rebounds, total of the assists. We're keeping it simple for everyone on here. Do not think that you are exclusive and you that you, you, you demand you're above simplifying stuff too. I'm here to talk to everybody. SGA has failed to exceed 47 and a half points plus rebounds plus assists total in 10 straight games against the Lakers. That's 10 straight games against the Lakers. The other prop is SGA has failed to exceed 33 and a half points in 10 straight games against the Los Angeles Lakers. He's averaging 23.9 points per game against the Los Angeles Lakers in 10 straight games. So that means it's a 33 and a half point prop you will go with the under right that's what they're saying you go with the under 33 and a half that's like a little that's and that's at a plus 110 on DraftKings. the other ones on FanDuel. by the way the sga prop for 47 and a half total points they had they found one on FanDuel for minus 120 